this man is walking around with a blower and a rake. Yeah, and he's blowing it, blowing it. I'm trying to get his attention, and I'm yelling. Just a second. I want you to tell me he's walking around with one of those blowers that you carry on your back. Right. With one of these things. Right. So he's walking around with a blower and a rake. Mm -hmm. I want you to describe the rake that he was walking around with. A metal rake. A metal rake. Keep going. Okay. So I go to tap him on the shoulder to try to get his attention so that I could talk to him. And as I reached up to tap him on the shoulder, he spun around and he hit me with the rake. I don't know. You if think was... that I believe that? I don't. Do that's you know the how? Truth. Just a second. Maybe he'll tell me. That's a lie. Maybe he'll tell me that's true. Quiet. Mr. Moorhead, mm -hmm. I have gardeners, all of whom I have seen at various times in my life with the blowers, you know, blowing the leaves once they've done the gardening. Mm -hmm. Never, not one time in 73 years have I ever seen somebody with a blower and a rake. And a rake. <laughs> right. I'm just telling you, now it's possible that Mr. Sanchez, that this was the way he does business. I'm just telling you from my life's human experience, I've never seen somebody walking around, blowing the leaves, and at the same time trying to rake them. Do you think it could be possible that he was moving the rake? No, you said he was blowing the leaves. He was blowing leaves You said he was he blowing the leaves. He was blowing the leaves and holding a rake. Those things are not easy to control with the things on the back. Well, okay, so you were, t let me, let me understand you, Mr. Moorhead. You were going to just tap him on the shoulder to get his attention. That's correct. And he sprung around. And, and when you caused... got around, and when you got out of your house to drive around in your car, was there a fury that somebody had cut down your tree? No, it was a curiosity. It was really I, I wanted to know what was going on. Why are they cutting my tree? Were the police called? Yes. After did you tell he... them? Did you tell them you were assaulted? Absolutely. Did you, you have just the a picture. second? Just a second. Did you tell them you were assaulted? Yes, I did. did. And Here's did they? The report. Just a second. Did they arrest anybody? No. They said because they don't didn't... tell me what they said. If you have a police report, I'll read it. Well, I have what they gave me. They said they were going to send me a report. They never did. I'm not interested in what they gave you. All I'm okay. interested in is a police report. Okay. Okay. They now, said that, so he turned around and he hit you with the rake. So that's the second thing that you're suing for, the tree and the rake. Okay. That's the second thing that you're suing for. That's correct. Right. What I want to next see is your injury. I don't want to see a picture. I want to see a oh, medical... Oh, it's healed now. I want to see a medical report. Oh, I didn't do any medical research. So you didn't go to see a doctor? No, I'm just telling you the truth just, what just, happened. You just, you have a picture. Um, no, just a second. You told the police that a man assaulted you, and the police observed what they perceived to be, according to you, evidence of an assault. But they did not conclude that there was sufficient evidence to arrest the perpetrator of the assault. And mm -hmm. you clearly did not think that it was a serious enough assault to seek any kind of medical treatment. That's exactly correct. Good, fine. You called the police. Yes. May I clarify something, Your Honor? Sure. I'm a black belt in karate. If I had tried to hurt this man, he wouldn't be here right now. Mr. Moorhead, I didn't what you just to hurt what him. you just said what you just said to me doesn't necessarily help your case.